Then you're properly fucked. Okay. And by day six, I was okay. I was just made it up, bro. No, just made it. One over two, one over the space. Shabash, shabash. Yeah. Keep playing, keep playing. Yeah. All right. Before we introduce our guest, let me just quickly say I've got a something in my mouth. No sexual analogy is needed. But I've written something as a tribute to him. <laughs> I live in two Malabar hills. In one fucking Malabar hill, the VIPs go up and down, and there's no space for anyone over. So, second Malabar hill, my mom tries to get a plumber, and the electrician comes. That's the Malabar hill I live in. We thank you for that. That was really nice. Thank you, man. I live in one Malabar hill in my dream only. <laughs> That's the only. You're a bandra boy. I'm a Delhi boy, then to bandra. You're a bandra bugger bugger. Yeah, bandra right? bugger bugger. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. And this is our boss from Mumbai. Masgaon. Uh, Masgaon. Yeah. Now in Bhiwandi. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Getting closer, man. Yeah. <laughs> Feel for all your success. Lots of comedians are struggling. Please understand. I Me, understand. Abbas included. I live at home. And he lives in somebody else's home, and it's a yeah. long and sad story. Yeah. Aren't you? Aren't you sitting on that bakra money, Sahil? What bakra money? So there is no money about? in bakra. Of course not. No. Are you? Have you met anybody in MTV? Have you worked at MTV ever? Never worked at MTV. No, thank God for that. It's like a leftist channel completely. It's like communism. <laughs> really? The last rites of communism was MTV. MTV, we love you, Paul. We love you. <laughs> Actually, fucking roadies. Roadies is like the overthrow oh. of Stalin only. Now that's really? the theme of the show. Really? Ah. I mean, can you imagine? You don't have to visit Chandigarh. You just have to see roadies. It's just terrible. Oh, but let's get back to Veer Das, the man, the myth, the legend. So, I'm told we to talk about the, the special first. Yes, please. Huh. Uh, called Lunding. <laughs> Lunding, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I want to clar- clarify one thing. I was thinking about this in the car um, because I drive an Uber to make ends meet. Yes. And I was thinking, um, you, and I, I think I asked you this the last time, I want to clarify because people don't know this about you when you know, the topic comes up. They all presume you're Bengali. Yeah. But and I'm not. I'm half UP, half Bihari. Which is the get, most pissing off thing you can tell a Bengali. Get out, get out. There you go. So I go to Kolkata and I'm like, fuck you. So you're, now you meet our TG. The UP Bihari TG. There you uh, go. But by the way, uh, when you talk politics, the Bengalis are the ones supporting you. Huh? Absolutely. No, not yeah, the yeah. UPI. So no, so there's no one left supporting you. Yeah. There you go. So, so let's just clarify that. He's, his antecedents yeah. are UP Bihar. He Absolutely. actually tells the meaning of the word Das in the special. So yeah. that's oh, that. In yeah. this one? In yeah, landing? Yeah. 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 I saw it. I know. <laughs> That's where you put him on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so someone has to be. Sai, you have to fucking watch the special. <laughs> bro, bro, they don't have any respect for old people, you know. Uh, firstly, I didn't know you were coming till three hours ago. That's okay. Suddenly they throw everything. I didn't even know there's a special. It's not fair. Uh, these are young guys. They're into the whole thing. They know what's going on in the space. I have a television. Then you plug things in. Then you press it. Do you have a bar. Do you have a laser disc player? <laughs> I do. I actually do. Don't joke. I have CDs. I have LDs. I have all that shit, man. Yeah. And I'm proud. I'm gay, Jewish, black and proud. So yeah. you have like the laser disc of Miami Vice. Hey, 43, yeah? <laughs> if he it, remembers. If it works, you might be sitting on a gold mine actually. One day I might be, yeah. you never know. Yeah. You could cut that LD and put it into a DVD player <laughs> and like watch 20% of Miami Vice. You don't knock it guys, it was great fun doing all that. But the worst, laser, laser disc last five minutes, remember? But were you around when the VHS uh, thing was yeah, on? Yeah, of course I was. Yeah. Did you watch porn with the video getting stuck? I got basic instinct stuck in. Oh, uh, at the wrong time, <laughs> right? Wrong time, it has yeah. to happen, man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that really toughened you up as a child, right? And then you have to, with ejaculate yeah. on your fucking... Uh, oh, just tell your parents, just watch it together. You to and unscrew and, VCR yeah. and get the... Don't remind me. You know, yeah. It's unbelievable. And you have to remove the damn wire yeah. thingy and then re... Abbas, you will have no idea. No, right? no, of course. I'm 34, so I've lived through that yeah. uh, era. No, but your jacking off must be like buffering porn. Yeah. That was your this. He's 34 double D. Huh? Check him out. All <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> These remarks are stricken from the record. Veer is very. Uh, very Guys, I'm so, by, by the way, I'm so happy to be here. I just did yeah. like beer biceps, which is like fully motivational and spiritual. Yeah. So, what's the guy's name? Uh, uh, Ranveer Alabadi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are three minutes in and at ejaculate. So I appreciate <laughs> your presence and uh, I'm so, happy to be here. What was Ranveer asking you? Let's just talk about him. Fuck <laughs> Let's just talk about Ranveer. What, Ranveer. He was great, man. He's a great kid. Yeah, too late. You already yeah. abused the bastard <laughs> for no reason. You guys make a lot of fun of him for some reason. No. You're, you're very bad. Are <laughs> and he's never even met you and you still say he's. Uh, I've met him actually. He's a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Nice but guy. You, I don't believe you. He's saying it very insincerely. So the, the way I see it is, I told him this also, no good can come from short men with microphones. <laughs> like throughout history, <laughs> whether it's Putin, Stalin Hitler, uh, yeah. myself, Stalin. <laughs> you're putting yourself in that bracket? Yeah, absolutely. All you talked about was two Indias and now you're right wing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so if they leave me like alone, I'm whatever wing they want me to be. I'm chicken wing. No, if that's you want me. That's me. me. Yeah. Chicken wing is us. Yeah. Yeah. I just take the side of the person who's shouting. 
You know? I will always believe that's the right Isn't thing. Isn't that all of them right now? It is. All of Bollywood. All of Bollywood. Well, yeah, suddenly they're all, you know, attending weddings and all that. I mean, it's amazing. Oh, Bollywood is having a lovely moment of reckoning, mm. which is, uh, as comedians, kind yeah. of amusing. Mm. I just want to say. I want to reply, but that thing you gave me stuck in my mouth <laughs> and my, my teeth are joined. This is what you do to people who interview you. You know? just like, fuck this guy. It's becoming <laughs> a tradition, <laughs> Cyrus. Mm. Uh, Gulshan Dabai gave you a sarad on. Now Veer has given you a lozenge. So yeah, it's very manipulative nature of this man. <laughs> he put this in, and now I can't talk. So he be like, "Brocha was quiet. The whole interview was so boring." Man, I, Ranveer, where's Ranveer? Brocha was so <laughs> quiet. He's such a saukar. Eh? What the fuck happened, man? <laughs> saukar wouldn't have turned up for the interview. Not because he doesn't like you, but he can't come on time, yeah, right? No, yeah. And you were on time, so it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, landing, brother. Yes, sir. Tell us about it. We have to promote it. Uh, the show is about a flight home. Okay. Uh, where I'm going to land in uh, from Newark to Mumbai hmm. and uh, I'm expecting to be arrested when I land. Is it true or is it fucking with me? Absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. And then Air India air hostess takes me aside and gives How me courage. Uh, she was like 65. <laughs> I need the visual. Yeah. <laughs> 65 year old auntie yeah, yeah. took me aside and she's like, you'll go to jail, but you'll go to jail. Stick your chest out. Double meaning? No, no, not at all. <laughs> but not, just, not that kind of comedy. No. Huh? But just about the year and what it means, like I did 183 shows in 25 countries wow. this year. Yeah. So it's about what it means to travel the world. You did more than Air India? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come home to a controversy. Yeah. So it's about yeah. that. Hey, can we talk about that or we'll get back to landing in a second? We, we can. Uh, so, so what happened exactly? We read about all this. Uh, uh, so uh, it's all in the show. Yeah. But, uh, so did they really tell you not to come to India and threaten you? Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, when you say they, are we allowed to say names? No, they were. They were it was, Yogi, this, bhai. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody. He's half UP. <laughs> Yo. Ironically, yeah. like you know, they say in a company, mm. the the chairman Never knows. and the intern, yeah. both nice guys. Yeah. That fucking VP of sales, no, yeah. like that guy's always. Yeah. Uh, so it's, these guys aren't politically affiliated, but yeah, we got thousands of death oh, threats. So, oh, okay, so those are the psycho fans who just. Oh, yeah. so, but you can't. You have to take them seriously because one nut case. We, we got FIRs, death threats, called a terrorist from the news. I got. Upwards of 10, 20,000 death threats. Wow. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's like, in a way, pride later on in no, your life. No, but like, so back, in yeah. the special, I talk about it, but yeah. I'm also like, Indians are very passe about death yeah, threats. Yeah, so yeah. like, you can tell an Indian, I'll kill your father, drink his blood. We'll yeah. be like, okay, not yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. is that, and then, uh, we, you know, have to go but through. But nothing like things. a horse's head in the mail or something. We wake up with a horse's head in the... Hell no. <laughs> So empty threats more or less. Also mm. said in the mail, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Amazon package that you ordered? Godfather. I mean, and I saw it ten times. VHS, huh? One of those that didn't get stuck, by the way. Yeah. Uh, no. So so interesting. So you went through a really uh, horrible period then with these people. Yeah, a little bit. And yeah. and then what about this? Uh, so the brands backed off and people backed off out of fear because in India there's a lot of fear. The moment you go anti-establishment. Yeah. So the brands and everything backed off, and then the minute we started Let's name selling those bastards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the minute we started selling tickets, they all wanted back on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, there's it, a there's a time period, right? When yeah. the thing sort of slips out of public consciousness and everybody pretends nothing happened. It's about four months. Yeah, I think they, once you get that science down, we're all okay, I think. Yeah, Yeah. my, my lawyer was very clearly, she's like, listen, the news cycle is huh. seven days. Yeah. If you're de they're still on, if you're still trending on day eight, then you're properly fucked. Okay. And my day six, I was okay. I was kind just of made it up, bro. No, just <laughs> made it. <laughs> one over, two, one over the space. Shabash, shabash. Yeah. Keep playing, keep playing. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's landing. Now I leave the rest of the interview to Abbas, who's a huge fan. <laughs> I am actually. See, I'm older I... than Veer, so I'm not supposed to sit here and talk about him. He doesn't. He keeps calling me uncle. And hey, are we? Yeah. What five years apart? Four years apart? If seven. Seven, not and, yeah, that's and same, a half. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, your my my friends punch is counting every day. <laughs> Cha -cha, bro. Nay. Given how young this generation yeah. was, we're both eighty at this yeah, point. Really, yeah. Yeah. I actually had a question, and uh, this may have been asked to you before, but yeah, uh, you know, the whole controversy emanated from the Kennedy Center. Yeah, and it was such a huge deal that an Indian comedian had sold out the Kennedy yeah. Center. Uh, did you have a moment to bask in that glory, or was that was it like? Bro, here's what nobody understands. Yeah, all right, yeah. Fuck selling out the Kennedy Center. Mm -hmm. I booked the Kennedy Center. Like, <laughs> 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 hey, hey. he was invited to the Kennedy Center. He uh, prestigious. Booking fee, I right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was, like I booked St. Andrews. Right. I booked the Kennedy St. Center. St. Andrews is more expensive. Maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, when you're, when you're doing... What happens to the non-Indians in the audience? Uh, there are a few, quite a few, let's say, yeah, neutral let's, people, whoever they are. 
whether they are subcontinent or non-Indian. They want to hear a non-Indian. They want to hear a, an Indian story yeah, yeah. because they, they, you know. No, these, no, I'm saying how do they react to the slightly political news? They're fine, yeah. man. Like the I just did a. Uh, on, Seemed on like a left-leaning audience because they were clapping at. Uh, I, I listened to the, the, the that last six yeah. minutes very intently. And yeah. They, they were quite. It was like, they, no, wow. they were into it, but yeah. also they. Like, but they covered their faces in case the camera was closed. They had so, masks yeah. on also. Yeah. It's so convenient, <laughs> but yeah. you know, they, in case like they want to hear like uh, my last world tour. I went to 29 countries and told them about the Andheria Modki Chudair from Delhi. You know, the lady in the white sari. Of course. So now that's something nobody's talking to them about. So they want you to tell an yeah. authentically Indian story as opposed to like this palatable well, local you Indian. It. If a person is a foreigner, you explain that. Of course I explain it. Why not, man? Rather than being so, like, so, oh, put to, to, to a poo from the <laughs> Simpsons. So comedy has to go into a break for two minutes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, There's a Chudair, yeah, backwards yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. All of that stuff. I remember you mentioned... Abbas, you uh, could work for him now. See, he can... I, he can I have. Up. Like I said, I worked for... But he can say, Abbas, now come on stage and you explain the myth. You know, the myth. Of course, yeah. I don't mind. So Abbas is my leg. We keep in the way. Yes, and then... <laughs> and then the traditional Abbas, please fuck off. And then the jokes continue. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned a Milan Subway story on Pete Holmes's podcast. Yeah, I'm I like, did, yeah. Nobody, I never imagined in my wildest yeah, dreams yeah. that on an American. You felt proud. Yeah, I was like, Milan, Milan Subway. Shut up. America mein bola ja, Baba, yeah. As opposed to what? Yeah. As opposed to their, they, they have four things that have represented us yeah. on their television yeah. and they've been milked to death. Yeah. You know, four tropes uh, about five. us. Five. Uh, Apu from The Simpsons. Uh, right? Forgetting the leader. Huh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Never have I ever is Indian yeah. representation yeah. right now. Mm. Uh, and then the four slum in- dog, four interchangeable comedians. Are Priyanka saying, Chopra, uh, you have forgot Chopra. the most important Indian ingredient. Without Priyanka Chopra, we cannot be a country. Sir, by the way, I go into rooms where they're like, "You are Indian, like Priyanka Chopra." She's opened that many doors, yeah. man. Like respect. See, you see, semi-finals, me har gaya, you know whatever. <laughs> Miss India, two thousand and one. Yeah. No, no, of course, a lot of respect. What the hell? Why should we attack poor Priyanka Chopra? Yeah. The pretty girl once. She gets no, it. no, now also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love her. She knows that. Not that she watches. But she may watch because Veer is on. So you mm-hmm. never know. Might be checking. What Actually, yeah. This might get us international yeah. audience. Yeah, man. I'm going to like two people from nowhere. <laughs> that's that's, that's what thing. remains of my fan one, one thing for sure. The Milan Subway guys will come on. Yeah, that's man. true. All yeah. the Milan Subway travels. Unless it's raining. And Milan yeah. Subway is technically another country. <laughs> <laughs> With no borders. <laughs> no borders. No paperwork, no borders. Yeah. 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 Wow, what a fascinating uh, podcast, man. Guys. I think I've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to go back to Ranveer. <laughs> Give me some of Ranveer's questions. Let's answer those. Uh, what to you is power? That was a question. Why? I don't know. Was he smoking? No. no. Like, <laughs> Ranveer has been on the show, right? By the way, this is my, show. like, just to give you clarity, yeah. like, this is my first ever day podcasting ever. I've done one podcast before in my life. Oh, really? It. Yeah. But why a day as in the, in the night? No, so I've done one podcast with this Whitney Cummings podcast and then you are my third oh, podcast Whitney Cummings, ever. the actress. Um, the comedian. comedian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're she's my pretty, third ever podcast. pretty to be funny, they say. No, oh, she's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen her uh, at the comedy store, 2am yeah. show. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Slayer. 2am show? Yeah, every 2am show. What the hell do you do till 1.45? It is the toughest show you can mm. possibly yeah. do. Audience is hammered. So I've heard. And big boys come out to fucking... So Abuse you, and heckle. But that's where you find the Chappelle. That's where you'll find the, you know... It's like you in the Lok Sabha. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be very careful. You can't take a chance with those guys. But those, those guys don't attend also. Man. Yeah. So the comedy clubs have attendance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have to pay, no? In America, you can't get away. It's not like India. Oh, that's I, what we need, guys. Uh, a two drink minimum in yeah. the Lok Sabha. That's all you need. Immediately, everything will change. Mujhe bar Bad job. No way. Uh, let's talk a little bit about your life, uh, Veer. Yes, sir. Since God knows when we'll get you back. You're very busy. 200 countries. Where are you going now? Are you going somewhere now? There aren't 200 countries. Cyrus. No. There might, be, there might be in a few minutes. 183 <laughs> shows, but in 25 countries. 25 countries. Okay, no. So are you off now somewhere else? No, I have zero material. My Netflix special just came out. <laughs> I, have, I have five minutes about farting during a massage. Oh, great. Which is really profound. Then stuff. you belong here. I belong. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing to offer. I'm at the right Welcome. podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So let's go back a little bit because I I think I've done this on a TV interview with you many years ago. You may not remember. You did a movie with uh, Sunny, Sunny Leone. Called Masti Zade. Critically yeah, yeah, acclaimed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> box yeah. office success. Hey, you're an artist. You do what you can. Right. Always blame the technicians. These motherfuckers. <laughs> People are like, did you read the script? I was yeah. like, no. <laughs> <laughs> they gave it to you after the interview. <laughs> Tell them. I read some numbers. They were on a check. Yeah, uh, yeah. And we did the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it wasn't that bad. No, it's great. You are doing Hindi film. You were also the catch yourself. Till date, the funniest actress I've worked with. Okay. She's got a sense of humor. She's uh. fucking amazing to be around. Yeah. But uh, no, so I want to talk about your past. So how do you get, you got into, you were in America, right? I mean, I most people know this, but you were in America. But you, was, you were studying some drama. 
Oh, you studied drama? You know, America. What a loser. I thought he was doing like an MBA. Sir, so you like, think... Fucking weird thras. You think Masti Zadeh happens overnight? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm learning new things every day. But, uh, There's so much tennis love skin yes, in Masti yes, Zadeh. Yes, yes. Yeah. And you brought it to the fore. Uh, huh, so how did the how did the comedian start, actually? I did stand-up final year of drama school. I wrote like a 90-minute show. And then I was like a Eddie Murphy, Raw, Delirious, Richard Pryor fan. Okay. And then open mics in clubs over there. Then came back, booked the Habitat Center. Oh, so you went and did open mics and all that as a college kid? Yeah, for like a year. And then came Uh, back to... What did we do to like Americans? Like what kind of stuff? My first joke, I still remember, uh, I was... It better be funny. We yeah, yeah. said for joke and all the people are listening. Fuck, yeah. why do you put pressure on all of us? <laughs> so I got a lot to lose on this one. We got one joke per podcast. Yeah. So this better be good. Yeah. South side of Chicago. Huh. Primarily African American club. Oh, they don't mafia. fuck around. They'll huh. boo you up. So I was booed off stage seven weeks in a row. I was, I was like, what is up with cockroaches? Uh, so Abbas Rami knows what we go through. <laughs> yeah. huh. And then at some point I started yelling and I was like, uh, you Americans uh, uh, don't value Indians. We are the ones who are your gynecologists and check out your wife's equipment. Yeah. We sell you uh, condoms. We sell you food. We drive your taxis. Without Indians, you'd be starving, starving, stranded, sexless, sterile and stupid. That was my first joke. And like, so a long time ago, guys. I'm just saying, like, to clarify. Yeah, but to but it's still true. Still funny, yeah. 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 Internet? Huh? What about uh, Sundar Pichai? I thought he should get a mention. Then this is way before Google. Damn him. Yeah. Couldn't even Google him. He wasn't, wasn't there yet. Yeah. Sundar Pichai has that... Uh, now he's not Indian. He's like a... Oh, he's Indian when he comes back to Chennai and does a little... Yeah. Does the accent change? Yeah. Everything changes. They're all... They don't when we need to show off, then he's Indian. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, I, I don't mind an American accent. I don't mind an Indian accent. That... That you weird one. You know? <laughs> Amit, Amit Doshi, Ikre. Uh, just call him, call him. Call you know him that hey, come to my Amit? shop tomorrow, oh, I oh give you God, gins you for your daughter. Yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That accent I yeah, hate. Yeah. And it flowers with the with the Caucasians, it gets a little more there, and with the Indians, it gets dumbed down a little bit. It's all over the place. My favorite thing right now is Americans watching RRR, but not being yeah. able to pronounce RRR. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. the RRR. <laughs> RRR. RRR is amazing. Have you seen RRR, guys? I have, yes. My God. How amazing is this movie? Movie. Did you know that bears hated colonialism? <laughs> <laughs> and that so did tigers hated, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> that scene where it jumps out with all the animals, I had no idea. Wildlife had political beliefs. <laughs> but to be honest, Cyrus? I haven't, I couldn't afford the ticket. But okay. I, I Cyrus, you're so South Bombay, man. No, no, I have to tell you, my experience of uh, Hindi films and wild animals, I think Mr. Natwaralal, Amitabh Bachchan film, where he fights a tiger. And that fight, tiger fight is fantastic because within four or five frames, they've gone to two or three states, you know, in the background. Huh. It's all over the place and the, everything just keeps changing because there's lots of geography involved. But then it must have been a real tiger back then. Huh? There's no green screen. Or there anything. was no tiger shroff. This was a real, <laughs> real tiger. This was it. So tiger shroff is yeah. a real tiger. I don't know what was happening, but I want people to check out Mr. Natwara just for that uh, scene and just check it out. Do you remember the film? I remember the film. You, but I, was, I don't know. I don't sort think of I've Amitabh seen it. Film. I remember a film in Dha- where Dharmendra fought a uh, tiger. And he was playing a gladiator. And, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like in the skirt and all? In the all? skirt yeah. and all, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With, the, with the shield and everything. Yeah. Uh, that's the last, like him and Sunny are the last two alpha males in the... Maybe, yeah. Right? The two yeah. What about alpha- Suleiman? Huh? Suleiman Khan. Suleiman Khan? Yeah. Are you mispronouncing alpha- the name? Salman is Suleiman. Are okay. Salman Khan, alpha male. Well, you guys don't know language award. Yani is John in Greece, okay? Huh? Salman Khan still more sensitive than Dharampaji and Sunny oh, Paji. So you're saying the alpha, alpha, the hardcore mard, mard male, mard, mard male is Dharam, Dharamji. Mm. Okay. And Sunny Ji. And in comedy, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me, me and, I, yeah. and, and Andy Tate. Sir. Abu Andy Tate. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Who's, where the hell? Where Sir, you me? have chosen push-ups over punch-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my tatties. <laughs> Alright, so that was a beautiful story about how he got into comedy. I don't know what he was saying. Basically mentioned the fact that he had to talk. For seven shows, you were booed off and all that. And then, yeah, then but then you're the guy who started everything here, right? So No, we're... come on. Bharat Dabolkar and Bharat No, not like that. that. I'm talking this amateur nights and all yeah, that. Yeah, that we started together. The... Mm-hmm. Together? Rohan Joshi, Tanmay, myself, we all started these amateur nights together. You never give them credit. You always say those jokers and you mean it badly. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Those guys yeah. who did that roast, it was uh, anti-national. No, but in a sense, you're like the father of this entire stand-up comedy movement in India. Which then becomes also in different languages. Which wasn't there, by the way. It wasn't there before. Before you. And, and now, now... Thriving in Bengali, in Kannada, wherever you go, you know. Hindi. Lo, you, Hindi. Yeah. English. Who's uh, the guy who sold out the whole year or something? They were just telling me. Uh, Basi. Basi, Basi. I mean, firstly, what kind of name is that? I mean, I just pay for that. But I love like Hindi comics are like, Oh, yeah, there is only 10 million views. Aai. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, 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 I'm
Wow. All right. Uh, so the, to understand the whole thing, so you came into the thing and how did you become like the entrepreneur? How did you get into the whole... I was just like, I need people to exploit and collaborate with... Green Frog? Uh, Blue Frog? Blue Frog. Blue Frog started. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we started doing like sketch comedy shows together. So we all wrote scripts and did that. Mm. Then we started Man, writing the first, Filmfare Awards. Yeah. That was our first gig. Yeah. Remember uh, Imran and Ranbir, Ranbir hosted the Filmfare Awards? Yeah. yeah. And it was suddenly young and funny. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was us. Yeah. And then um, we wrote it for like five years, made money there. And then we started a company. That's kind of how it went. So there was no plan actually. We we're just doing this uh, stuff to whatever. You had no idea it would become this big thing and lots of people. Because stand up was such a, like it was either Johnny Bai or it was like yeah. Baman, yeah. Ash Chandler. Baman didn't do any stand up. Baman did stand up. He still does stand up. He does a one man show. Where go, to, he does. go to Navjot and just talk to your friends. It's not stand up, brother. What are you talking about? <laughs> he does oh, like the, all the, the voices and the, the We Are the okay, World. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that, uh, the same act. Baman, same act, no? For 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Uh, Sir, some comics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been bothered with an act. I've been yeah. around 30 years. Uh, okay. Jo Johnny Lieber? No, there wasn't anyone. That, Have you seen Johnny by recently? I saw two hour Johnny Lieber uh, concert. It was fantastic, bro. Oh my Without God. any bad language, nothing. Hmm. It was really funny. But he's and like that, edge, he has edge. He's edgy in his own way. But he remakes you laugh and his face, brother. I mean, that, that, that's just genetic gifts. His <laughs> face is so like, it, it's like rubber. I yeah. tried, I went back and tried. You can't do that. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Vijay Malia, he had a Vij Vijay Malia joke which he connected to Malaysian Airlines which uh, had such, uh, this thing, you know, he's like, sab log bol hai, jaj ko gaya, jaj ko gaya. Mm. Vijay Malia ke 3,000 crore ko gaya. Wo chi le na, ek haath mein beer, ek haath mein deer. <laughs> or something like that. I was like, yeah. that's dark as hell. <laughs> but it works. I love that guy. It's we should get him on also. Sure. Abbas, call him, na. Okay. Uh, Veer, can you call him? I can call Johnny Bhai, yeah. Uh, are you friends? He won't pick up, but I'll call him. Oh, uh, <laughs> we gave him an award at, at my festival. You did? Like a legend of comedy. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And Pajama he, Fest. Did he come? Yeah, he came. He performed for an hour and a half also. He's damn good. When you told him five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> this is a problem with these guys, yeah. I can't handle these guys. Yeah, yeah that is... God, uh, just go on and on. All right. Uh, so, what else is there? Tell us, uh, landing and then? Landing. What, what about... The, I heard... Are we allowed to talk about this? Some rumor that you're working in a Hollywood film. A big I am. Blockbuster film. Yes. Can we talk about it? No, I can't no. talk about what it is, but I'll start... Can, can I tell you what I know? Huh? That I can say, then you can deny it. Huh? It's an Avengers film. No. It's a Marvel something it's, film. It's a superhero film. It's a franchise film. That's what I oh. can say. James Bond. Yeah, I'm the new Bond. <laughs> first Indian, the first Indian Bond. And his name, uh, do you forgive it? Uh, uh, I'm from two Indias. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's, the plot is very simple. They call James Bond. His mom picks up now. Yeah. It's <laughs> James Bond. Like James <laughs> abhi so rai. Yeah. <laughs> Please Dave, call at 2 p.m. Dave Patel was rumored to be the new Bond. Are you serious? So, yeah, maybe they confused the Indians uh, in that, <laughs> in that I email. I don't know, like if Dave Patel is the new James Bond. <laughs> Like, wouldn't we stuck? Like, wouldn't we fuck all if like everywhere James Bond goes in the world, he's stuck in the immigration line. <laughs> <laughs> he's stuck at customs. Like the the, the crook has ended the That's world true. because James Bond abhi hitro me phasa hua hai. Although with his accent and uh, passport, he may get away. I'm more worried for Ka Calpen. I would like Calpen to play. Uh, Calpen is going to host the Daily Show. I think he's Ooh, taking over from, from Trevor Noah. Yeah, man. Oh, interesting. Excellent. Mm. Is this a scoop? Are you breaking know, How do you know all this? So, <laughs> there, so there's guest hosts oh. at the Daily yeah, Show. Yeah, so there's yeah. Hassan Minaj, Calpen, Chelsea Handler, uh, John Stewart. Oh, so Mike they Dovi. choose out of the guest hosts for the main host? I think so. And I think he's going to get it. I'd, like if I want somebody to get it, it'll be Calpen. Why not Arnab? Or no, but I think uh, you have to be intentionally funny on the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's being a tad unfair. Genius doesn't know it's art. You know that, right? My favorite Mozart part of the, is Mozart. He's just making the opera. You know, my favorite part of the Two Indias controversy is uh, Arnab Goswami called me mentally ill. And I was like, so irony. Sweet. So sweet. <laughs> yeah. Really. I mean, obviously there's data to support that. He's done in-depth analysis. It's always a white paper, by the way, which we can't see. I've got it. I've got Veed Das's mental imbalances. It's here with me. My God. Yeah. Wow. I just love the fire emojis that surround him. Every yeah, time yeah, yeah, like, yeah. the public is always on fire, yeah. which is interesting. No, the best, I, th I think it's changed everything for all of us is that now you call people and you don't have to let them speak because that's, it's wrong to let people speak. Yeah, no. So I just, follow that. I just, yeah. You just, you know. I mean, you started that trend. I did. Yeah. I did. But I wasn't good enough. <laughs> He's taken it to another level. That's Raise true. the bar. It's fabulous. So you are the OG Republic TV. <laughs> I was the right-wing voice before right-wing became popular, man. Nobody listened to us. Okay, I think we'll take a quick break, which takes about four to five seconds. Veer, All right, cool. And then we'll come back and discuss uh, Ranveer Allahabadi, or whatever his name is, and what he means to you. He's okay. been on the show. You spoke He's not. Him. He was on a uh, Zoom call. Okay. He's on the call right now. We'll take a break. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. 
We have a special announcement. Introducing Club Paisa Vesa, where you get episodes of Paisa Vesa 3 days before release, bonus and ad-free content and access to the full show archive. So get your yearly membership today for only rupees 699. Log on to club.ivmpodcast.com/paisavesa. On Cock and Bull, Cyrus is joined by Shreyas Manohar and comedian Masoom Rajwani. Shreyas shares a crime fiction story that couldn't take off, plus they discuss a story of Santas getting assaulted while driving tanks and much more. On the Advertiser's Guide to the Galaxy, Karthik talks about the creative device in the field of advertising involving financial brands. On the origin of things, Deepak tells the origin story of a popular song that deals with glamour, wealth, egos, and insecurities. On the Habit Coach's Know Your Coach series, we get to ask Ashton about his sleep routine and the regime he follows for a good night's sleep. And on Smarter with Sid, Siddharth dwells into the mysterious world of the hive mind. explaining how groups can create a collective consciousness and how it can lead to both good and bad outcomes once again do not forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcast.com we have some super cool and exciting stuff over there for you and your loved ones follow us on social media we are at ivm podcast on twitter facebook instagram and linkedin if you like our shows then do spread the word you know it really helps us a lot and of course do not forget to rate and review our shows wherever you are listening to them You can also find all our video shows on youtube.com/ivmpodcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Cap Gemini and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you so much for making this possible. You know the show the podcast is really bad and you know it's really bad when our cameraman walks up. <laughs> and they think they were all very excited that you were coming and they were all looking under the window and all that because as you know nobody comes here. So yeah. This was huge. I'm just impressed you guys are still shooting on VHS tapes. Uh, this is uh, well done guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we have to you to tape over some old phone. So there might be weird and exciting there might yeah. be you know the you have some, like a eight yeah. track machine in the back yeah. and you do the sound mix. There's a tape uh, I think it's Rocco Sick Freddy. Right? <laughs> that's the one that's the one that we moved over. Uh Uh, all right. Before we go into questions, Abbas, yeah. and I know you have many. Uh, so you didn't tell us about the franchise. So what? El- what else? Can- give us something because I heard it's a really big scoop. So yeah, it's a big movie. Okay. So this year, I will star in a rom com in the states, hmm. in a series uh, in India, in I'll be part of a big franchise movie, and I'll star in my own American TV show. That's 2023. Wow. wow. Rom com in the states. Yes. That's a film. That's a film. Uh, and the big big TV show is the franchise. A uh, big movie is the franchise. It's a franchise. It's an ensemble. TV show is like what? Uh, sitcom. I, I'm developing a show with Fox, and it's oh. uh, my own kind of a okay. half hour comedy, like okay. a sitcom. Okay. And uh, then I've got a, a Hindi series that I just wrapped up. Here, yeah. yeah, which is done already. It's done already. Why can't you tell us about that? Well, because the platform won't let me. Uh, but I directed it. The, I, I showed and direct, uh, co-directed. Does, does and it rhyme start. with Ramazan? No, it doesn't rhyme with Ramazan. Flat Blix. Flat Blix. No. G <laughs> six. <laughs> no. Even I can't figure it that out. It rhymes now. with uh, Republic G6? TV. <laughs> Republic. <laughs> okay, so you're on an NDTV, obviously the new NDTV. Yeah. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, so, do you have any questions for Veer? Ah, uh, many of them. Yeah. Actually. Uh, <laughs> that's what you say when you buy time, <laughs> bro. Just uh, don't do more than three. Uh, yeah, you're going to another interview. Yeah. No, so um, how? Uh, I mean, g- considering like, there was, huh? I, it's like gay feeling I'm getting from you, Abbas. <laughs> no, just, I'm trying to frame the question. Yeah. Oh, you put me on the on the uh, on the spot. Huh. Um, when the whole thing blew up uh, yeah. in India and everything was ha- happening, and you say in the special also towards the end that it's a privilege now that you got to go in front of an audience again and perform. Yeah, man. Uh, Do well, how long? Show. How long were you suspended? Six eight months. For Six sure. months. Yeah, eight so, months. So how how did you man? We should have started work in that time. Man, <laughs> <laughs> idiot. Six eight months. Kali tha. <laughs> how did you recalibrate uh, and get down to writing jokes again and and making the, a show? Uh, so for me, it was very clear that uh, I have to find the funny in it. Hmm. So I'm not. I haven't done a single news interview. Never hmm. talked to a journalist. Nothing. I'm like the first time I talk about it. It'll be a joke. Hmm. And so the first joke that I wrote was um, I was on the home page of the BBC, and the headline was <laughs> "Comedian Polarized the Nation." Right? Do you know how badly you have to fuck up before the British say that you divided India? Uh, is so the minute I wrote that, yeah, and it wasn't like a a victim mentality, and it wasn't trying to lionize yourself. I'm like, okay, this is the tone, mm-hmm. and then I'll start writing a show about okay. it. Okay, and then that took like a month and a half, and then I went on tour. Okay, after that, uh, how do you choose where to shoot the special? It's uh, large. Like Ranveer's uh, questions. No, I mean I'm falling asleep. I'm I'm getting to the more uh, professional aspects of Next it. Next, you can you, you hold my hand and walk on Marine Drive. What this is <laughs> in this? Okay, three things. Uh-huh. Uh, have I not been in that market for a while? So can I sell tickets in that market? Because okay. I have to sell out three shows. 
what kind of crowd size do I want? Like for this special, we had a choice between the Apollo, mm-hmm. which is 3,900 seats, which is a, wow. too large to shoot a special because mm-hmm. every laugh takes fucking five minutes. Mm-hmm. Or NYU, which takes like 800 people. So we okay. chose NYU. Okay. And then uh, I wanted it to be like a major metropolis somewhere mm-hmm. across the world. So okay. choices were London, New York. And British people are standing ovation in America. Mein aasani se milta hai. So, <laughs> I have friends in Dhaka. Next time, and they've got some good stuff. <laughs> yeah, also. there you go. Don't say no. Next right? special Dhaka. There you go. Yeah. Just repeating. For Moj app. Huh. Uh, man, four big releases in 2023. Mm-hmm. Abbas, what have you got? The podcast. It's the best <laughs> I can do. <laughs> sad part is we don't even do drugs. So how can we get through the year? We don't have any options, bro. It's really sad. You're, yeah. you're like stone cold sober, na, as far as I know. Stone cold I don't drink nothing anymore. Nothing. My God. Like how long has this been? 2015, 24th uh, December. I danced <laughs> with a really ugly woman. I hope she never sees this. And the next day, the boy showed me photographs. Wow. I mean, coming from me, ugly. So, you know, I mean, relatively <laughs> speaking, <laughs> oof. So I said, no, no mass. Well done, sir. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm clean. I'm clean. No drugs. Nothing. What about you? I'm uh own, I launched a beer. So I, I'll drink that now and then. No, no. As in you launch your own beer. Yeah. Like the Rock yeah. launched his own. Pretty what did he launch? Tequila. Tequila. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But my beer is called Fuck It. <laughs> How do you spell it? F A A A A K I T. Fuck It. Nobody will understand. <laughs> You're safe. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Fuck It. We just got enough Fuck It. So yeah. I'll drink that now and then, but no, I don't. Uh, you're, not, you're not much of a drinky. Not at all. And uh, do you do the other stuff? I have zero body mass to handle hard alcohol here. Is it? Yeah. Is that the re- Abbas doesn't drink? He's got lots of body mass. That's okay. I eat all the other things, no? That doesn't count. <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> no. the, on the calorie so, meter, it does. Also, all the other things sounds very yeah, creepy yeah. In, in that tone. <laughs> I eat all Keep the other yourself. things. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. Or right. we go to the aim is? Let's go to the AMA. All right, cool. Yeah. So we have a bunch of questions for you, Veer. Uh, Including the ones you sent. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Veer. <laughs> Who are your influences? <laughs> You're really dumb and dumber. You actually write Veer at the bottom. <laughs> this one comes from Amrinder. Uh, question for Mr. Your Veer. father, Amrinder. Uh, huh? My father, Amrinder. Yeah. That's his uh, yeah. username. Yeah. Uh, the biggest difference between stand-up in India and US. And second part, how was the Court law? Court cases. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Uh... Indians are uh, tougher for play, better sex. Uh, so they're very quiet up top, but very loud later. Mm-hmm. Americans will kind of woo at anything, but it's a consistent thing. Ah, okay. Uh, his second part of the question is, how was life in the Lawrence School, Sanawar? It was... Oh, uh, you're a rich kid. You fucking elite <laughs> bastard. I want to show you more respect, bro. I know that. Said the rugby player from South Bombay. <laughs> Lawrence guy, yeah? Lawrence guy. Uh, Sir, listen, you are Rahul okay, Bose's okay, friend. Okay, I'm just saying. Right? <laughs> nah, I mean, you're exposed. You're like Silvery. Another exposure. Shreya, Silvery, Veerdas. We got all three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was not very fun. Some oh, kids are meant why? to be institutionalized. Some kids are not. I've Sanal, like graduates, either complete misfits or like these generic like, hockey, hockey, chick, uh, chicks. Uh, uh, so I'm not a hockey shocky chick chicks guy. So you're I'm not the jock you're saying? Not and the you're not the landed gentry. What? No, I think two types of people become comics, right? Yeah. Bullied in high school or coolest kid in high school. Yeah. I don't, which are the coolest kids who are comics? Ironically also a comic. You know Papa CJ? Yeah. Head boy of Sana. <laughs> Same batch? Same batch. <laughs> Was he called Papa in class? No, that's confusing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Papa, your dad's come to pick you up. In Papa school, he was Chirag Jain. But, uh, he Chirag! Was, he was head boy of Sana and I was the bullied kid in Sana. And those wow. are your two comics. Yeah, man. You, you guys get along? Yeah, very oh. famously. He's a great guy. But yeah. that, I mean, that's a... That's really only well, That's those amazing. I didn't know the two of you came in the same generation, that too. Yeah. The first generation of stand-up comedians. I think he's a year older than I am, but pretty much... Did he win some uh, American... Uh, uh, last comic last standing. Comic standing. Yeah, he was, yeah, a, he was yeah, a finalist yeah. on last comic yeah, standing. Yeah. 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 Okay, we pointed out he didn't win. <laughs> I'm saying, Good point. Yeah, yeah. Correct life. that. Yeah. One at life. Head boy. <laughs> Why did you become the head boy? Because uh, I'm a loser. <laughs> like that's the. No, he know. didn't. Papa CJ was. Yeah, Papa CJ yeah, was head yeah. boy. If you're confused, watch the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I was confused. Anyway, the next question comes from Ruben D. Uh, what Ruben was David? Ru- yeah, you know, calling them. These are we have nine listeners. Yeah, <laughs> respect, man. Huh. Huh. What was uh, what was growing up in Nigeria like? Given what? given an opportunity, would you, what life this guy's had? Cyrus like <laughs> Cyrus is like this guy keeps getting richer and richer. <laughs> and richer. <laughs> Spurs, why didn't you give me the bio data, Lawrence? He actually did. You did yeah. not bother. No, to it's not there. I don't have Nigeria and all. I have all these shows oh, okay. and stuff, man. I can't watch two and a half. Was in the car. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah. Given a, a but Nigeria what, is a very quick un- conversation. What's the Nigeria? What's the Niger- what were you doing in Nigeria? I spent seventeen years in Nigeria. I grew up in Nigeria. I went there when I was one year old. 
from there to nigeria, nigeria? Uh, no <laughs> i don't speak yoruba you don't speak yoruba <laughs> yeah. so uh, what you realize is, you're doing the do you speak indian i, I, I realize <laughs> as i said it but you can't you can't take it back <laughs> you want to take it back i love the people but uh, just uh, very quickly so who's what's the reason dad was posted there dad was working in a poultry farm and doing food processing Is he glamorous? Parsi? Is he Parsi? It sounds like a Parsi story. <laughs> Let's go to the place in the Nigeria and we'll start a business there. He's making pre-cut potato chips and tomato pulp. Wow, he must be so disappointed in you, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so grew up there, in Nigeria. Yeah, man. Wow. How was that? Being the probably the only Indian boy in the class? No, I was in a school called Indian Language School. Which is only Desi kids, because there's a big. Why uh, can't you just say Gandu? <laughs> What is Indian language? <laughs> Where did oh. you graduate, Gandu? So Desi kids, you go all the way there. <laughs> oh. Very sheltered, uh, oh. you know. Language of instruction, English. Yeah. And and uh, you came straight to Lawrence then. I was yeah. When I was eight, I went to Lawrence School, Sena. Then oh. I was thrown out of Sena. Then I went to Delhi. Why were you thrown out? If you get three headmasters cards, you're thrown out. I had two by the time I was. But what did you 30. do? I was caught with cigarettes. Then I was caught in the girls. Oh, I home. thought you abused the prime minister, but then you didn't. No. <laughs> then there was. <laughs> yeah, okay, calm down. Yeah. Back then you could actually. No, wait, wait let's yeah, let, let's not jokes were a thing. <laughs> let's not interrupt. The second part was very interesting. Caught in the girls' home. Doing what? Uh, delivering a senior's card to his girlfriend, and then there was messenger a girl, boy. Yeah, and, and you took the uh, bullet for that. And mm. then there was a girl I liked, and I started talking to her. And you I didn't. The, you get the same card. No. <laughs> and she, I didn't understand why she had a mug and uh, like a robe. Born apparently it was bath time and she was heading towards the toilets. Towards the toilets, so I got caught. And then they were out. You was you was expelled for that. I did some other shit as well. You watched the third shit. <laughs> That's not enough. I want the truth. I did this speech called "I come from two sonars." Uh, <laughs> and they uh, were like, "That deserves <laughs> expulsion. Nothing yeah. less. Yeah. Nothing less." The next one comes from Tarun Kaushik. Watched and loved all your specials. You are one of the most internationally acclaimed Indian comedians. What do you think is the major ingredient for your success internationally? Uh, I tell an unapologetically. Yeah, that's just that's a mean question to ask someone. He's just got to praise himself, you know. Yeah, exactly. How are you supposed to answer? But that? like, I I don't make it palate. Like, I don't represent the India that they know. So it's a yeah. fresh story. Mm-hmm. Oh, it. Russell Peters knows because he's lying. There's Russell no Peters is lying about India. Of course, the, the India he talks about doesn't exist. What's he talking about? No, that's the 1975. Yeah. My parents and, left. Yeah, India. Anglo-Indian from Calcutta with that accent. No way. Yeah, I've been to Cal. Doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> He has a second part. Which other Indian comedian, according to you, is capable of such massive international recognition? All of them, yeah. Uh, Zakir, hmm. uh, for sure, can and can be translated into different languages and right. still be funny and all of that stuff. Aditi Mittal, I think hmm. if you, if you've ever seen Aditi, yeah. she murders abroad. Um, As in better abroad than here. She's good here too. She's a beast. Yeah, go see her new live show. It's yeah. damn good. Uh, Abish, Kenny, I don't know all of them. Yeah, there's you know Neville. Right, uh, Cyrus. What about Abbas? <laughs> I want to come to my people. Me. I was at the pajama fest, but I was performing outside while you were preparing. No, no, no. Oh, you were like the 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 warm up no, no, guy. No. That's a good gig, man. Yeah, bro, bro, it bro. Is. We, we, I got to tell the truth. I, I can't lie about <laughs> this. <laughs> you couldn't find a pajama that fit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys really tore into him, man. Yeah, I mean, it was me, Ronak Rajani, and one more person. You and Tanmay fought over the one pair that was sort of, <laughs> you know, and yeah. there was one Nara. And it was I was about to say the very first improv live show I saw was the Cardinal Bangans at Bonobo. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. That's long time ago back when you could do jokes it's <laughs> uh, a great time uh, isn't bonobo a chimpanzee it is but also it's also a venue in bandra, in bandra oh, wow. yes which uh, i'm sure you went to cyrus but you don't remember no, I don't to. I can't <laughs> maybe before 24 december no, I mean, 2015 no, drinking hole sorry drinking hole if it's drinking hole i've been there i've heard a great story about you drinking you can cut it out didn't you steal a taxi at some point Yeah, I've done all those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That guy heard so while Cyrus. you were while you were conquering countries and spreading the humor and all that, I was so doing for, these for things. For someone who Cyrus got drunk and like stole a taxi and fucked off with it and left the taxi. But he refused to take us, so I drove the cab. I remember that was quite quite a thing. So that's stealing and drunk driving. He was standing outside, but the key was in. Mm-hmm. But you you know how they are. Have you seen my special? It's all about fucking taxis. <laughs> I mean, they don't talk to you from from my childhood. You say, "Boss, Cyrus, bro, cha." No, 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 not like that. You say, "Boss, I'm the Kali Piri." They say, "Boss, uh, Andheri." So they'd be like. Nahi, that's the most right. And then the next generation just does the sound, right? They don't even give you a word. Yeah. Uh, boss, money drive. Yeah. So it's just infuriating. Why? That's it. That's the conversation. But the Mumbai word is. 
Yeah, like that's the that's no, th- my favorite thing. That's when they call you upstairs for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these these taxi drivers who live in two story homes. <laughs> Shreyas, Silvery, are you listening? <laughs> Next one comes from Samir. Uh, do you require visa to travel from one India to the second India? Absolutely. Yeah. Ah, uh, fucking yeah. joker. <laughs> second question. Get to you when people tell you jokes. They meet you somewhere. Hey, we heard this one. No, yeah. it's a, you should use this one. Yeah, huh? you should use this yeah, one. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think the second one we covered, how do you feel about the Indian stand-up scene at the moment? Is third question is, will stand-up expand to regional medium or remain in it? But it has. Already, man, that is also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. has also expanded. Okay, the next one is from Hemisha. It's not really a question, but some time ago, uh, we did a thing where he tweeted that he's leaving an item in a park or whoever could go and take it or something. Yeah. Can you tell us about that whole thing? Can you just explain it again properly? It's confusing. Yeah. Okay, so I got nominated for an Emmy. Huh. And then Netflix sent me this big hamper huh. with this like something, you know, uh, 60,000 bottle, uh, dollar bottle of champagne. 60,000 dollar bottle of champagne? Uh, rupee, sorry. 60,000 rupee bottle of champagne. This right? is another moment from our podcast. Is your name Meghnad? <laughs> What's going on? And huh. so I was just like, uh, I'll leave this in Hyde Park in London underneath oh. this bench. And the first kid who finds it, you're welcome to it, man. So one guy cycled six kilometers. Uh, which was very impressive for his particular shape. Uh, <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and he got there and he got the bottle. But it's like one of those gold. Did he shot it? Somebody was standing there with a the cam. I told, I just said, uh, send a selfie. Selfie. Oh, excellent. Mm-hmm. And he was yeah. underage, of course. So that's where the government's after. No, you. no, he's like one IT employee or yeah. something who took yeah. lunch off. Yeah. Okay, the last one comes from Sneha. Uh, Veer, when you have international acclaim and a pull abroad, why perform back in India despite oh, death? That's racist. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty hard. Wow. Man. That's so anti-national. That's actually anti-national now. You are scared, Veer. You are scared. Why are you back here? Why are you back here? Why are you come back to Shawshank? Uh, we have the largest English speaking audience in the world. Yeah, we do actually, right? What is it? 70 million? Sell, yeah, you million? can sell more English tickets in India than anywhere in the world. That's why I mean. Is it worth the death threats? And in black, uh, Abbas. But, yeah. but the way I see death threats and yeah. all of this stuff, right, is it's also par for the course in terms of earlier this many people watched stand-up comedy and they were just comedy fans. Mm. This art form has begun, become so big that that reach has expanded to people who have never seen stand-up before. Right. So you're going to get nascent reactions that you have never seen before. Mm. But it's par for the growth that we need to do as, a, as an art form. Come back to death threat. Did they explain how they would kill you? Yeah, a lot, a lot of their... Because gun, I like gun specifics. And I'm like, this is... That's such a rubbish way to... Can you mean like, you know, bro, I'm going to come with a knife. I'm going to stab you in the back of all sorts of... So that was a specific thing. Yeah. Okay, the, the, respect for that guy, whoever you are. And then a lot of guys were just like, Tu na kabhi Jasmeet uh, Nagar mein mil ja. <laughs> That's like, not working for me. Aara aara Jasmeet no, Nagar brother, no. <laughs> you know. But it's one thing you get uh, threats in your DMs. Uh, watching primetime television, uh, you know, becoming this, uh, you know, Radio Rwanda against you. That's quite a scary feeling, right? But dude, I, I think... Ek to, you cannot, nobody can predict anymore when you're going to be on primetime television. Mm. And for what? It could mm. be literally anything. Mm. And two, we all have our turn in the sun. You know, uh, <laughs> if you're if you're an artist who's creating any sort of conversation, right. bari mm. next week is your ki bari hogi. Mm. Next week, so don't take it personally, mm. is what I'm saying. Like, mm. And it could uh, happen uh, because of anything. threatening you. Huh? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm saying it could be your YouTube video. It could be the color of your wardrobe. It could be right. anything yeah. at this point. Do yeah. your time in the sun. Move the fuck on and do your job. Hmm. Is the way I look at it. Okay. Those yeah. were all the AMAs we had. Yeah. No, but uh, going back to this entire existence of dealing with people, we haven't spoken about the elephant in the room for me. Mm. And now that he is from Sana, so I know. Was that, that also fat privilege? No, pri- no privilege <laughs> background. Yeah. So why has he not, in his special, spoken about the pain of the Valkesh for VIP movement? And why has it not come up? As something that's holding the country. Cyrus progress, is man. not karaoke, man. It's comedy. <laughs> like, I'm not taking care. requests. I want you to take this request as part of your tribe. To understand, speak with the elite. How about this? When you so, do Kali Pili, I'll open for you. <laughs> Kali, Pili, Kali Pili is finished now, no, as a concept. No, but that can be, that's a great title for a special. Kali Pili? Cyrus yeah, Brocha, Kali actually. Pili. That's a great title. Half your stage is Kali. I, I probably, <laughs> is Pili. Exactly. I probably won't be able to reach it because the taxi won't take me. <laughs> I'm serious. It's a great poster Done. also. Put it down, Kali Pili. Done. Hmm. We'll book safe. And MTV like he says, if it's MTV, just blame it on the title. Ah, Kali Pili. They didn't understand. Yeah. Coming to Netflix via MTV. Uh, 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 Cyrus Brocha, Kali Pili. And, and there's no racist undertones. Uh, so for those who want to no, troll no, no. and all that, I yeah. want trouble yeah. later. Yeah. 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 All right, All right. I, I think that was it. The landing is the name of the show. Yes, it's, sir. Uh, on Netflix. Now streaming on Netflix. Please uh, watch already, it. Already, so watch it, enjoy it, and Veer will come back and talk to us whenever he has time. Yes, sir. Because he's got a huge year ahead. I don't know if we'll get him in 23, but 24. 
24 for sure i'll be cancelled by then again so then i'll come back aram se and then we don't want you we want you when you on top <laughs> when you're the big gun <laughs> well played yeah all right any me to cases no sir oh, damn it no. no game no cases dog lover na dog lover. i remember yeah but yeah. they don't do cases uh, so dog lover means you're off the hook i give yeah. 50% free card from my side immediately <laughs> abbas we like to hug him kiss him what do you want to do at the end? Uh, after the show oh, okay. off stream <laughs> no yeah all right we we'll cheers <laughs> my friend thank you so much for having me guys Thank you, thank you. Guys, wind up those video cameras. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. We.